if you want to, you know, form a line behind the mic, let's have, let's have a chat. Hi, my name is Carrie Pohl. I'm with the Sisters of St. Joseph of Baden, Pennsylvania, and I live in Aliquippa. Um, first of all, Mr. Trevini, I'd like to thank you for being here and for opening this forum up for a conversation. And I would like to thank all of the committee members for stepping up and volunteering your time, your energy, your thinking, everything that is going into this process. I appreciate you. Um, I'm wondering why does Shell get so much influence? Um, I mean, my, I understand that there's part of the fine that they get to determine where it goes, and then they were able to submit names for this committee because contrary to what the Beaver County Times reported yesterday, th this isn't an investment. This is the result of polluting our community. And so is there a way that any funding, anything from this fine that ends up in our community, is there a way to make it very clear that it is not because of the beneficence of Shell that we're receiving it? So, um one, the agreement, it's, it's a legal agreement between both parties, and the agreement calls for a collaboration between Shell and DEP. So that's, like Heather was mentioning, one of the stuff that we don't have control over it. Uh, I want to be fair to all of the parties here and say that just as DEP doesn't have any staffer beyond me facilitating this, Shell doesn't have any staffer in the steering committee Yes, they suggested some names as well as DEP, but I can guarantee you and the steering committee knows that the members of the steering committee recommended and suggested by the community outweighed by a lot the, the, the members that were recommended by Shell or DEP, right? This is, I'm trying to be as objective and, and uh, as, as I can, you know, putting both DEP and Shell as the signatures of the COA at the same level. So the legal document asks for a collaboration, but they don't have any active role as far as I know. What well, I don't know if there's anyone from Shell in the public, but they are not here. They haven't been part of, of, of our meetings. And, and yes, they, they appointed a couple of members to the committee because it's a collaboration, but the members that were suggested by the public, by the community, outweighed by a lot, the, those, those members. Um, how the money is going to be used, how all of that, again, I, what, what happens with, again, with the fine and that kind of, it, it's something that it's, it's out of our, our control, but at least I, I can tell you, and I have everyone sitting here, that, uh, that community-driven process is taking place and that Shell doesn't have an overdue influence on this and you know neither you know DEP. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Th yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I want to thank Sister Carrie for her comment. It's a really important point. Um, it's one of the th biggest concerns that I've already brought up as part of being as part of this committee. What I will say is there have been no constraints on any of the steering committee members here about speaking about exactly that point. Meaning, you know, as this process unfolds, we're able to communicate and make it clear that this is the result of an agreement associated with harms to the community. That it is a result of pollution events and community harms. And it is a, a way to try to mitigate that in some way um, although, you know, it's probably not nearly far enough with, that many of us would think, but it's something. And we want to make sure that the environmental justice communication on it comes through. And so you can count on us to make sure that that can happen. And thank you, Matt, for that, because I totally forgot. Uh, the protocol will include a disclaimer that it says that every advertising, every promotion of the projects being funded with the community fund that money is coming from uh, uh, a legal agreement that Shell signed because of violations to the ground. So we are not going to be able to go out there and do what a lot of people here would like to do, right? But the disclaimer for every project will include that statement that the project is being funded or the money comes from an agreement where Shell recognizes violations of the of the of the air quality. So, of course.